Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and in today's video I am collaborating with Haewon and I'm making her favorite vegan recipe which is vegan banana bread. She's also making my vegan recipe, my favorite one, and she is sharing it on her TikTok. So head over to the description box where the link will be to her video. Guys, I am so happy with how this came out. Keep on watching to find out how I made this. It was super easy. Uh, but there are a few things that you need to keep in mind, so keep on watching. I'll leave all the details in the description box down below, the recipe as well as my socials and Haywon's socials. So make sure to follow us both and subscribe to both of our channels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're almost done with some series. That's very exciting, but also sad. I hope you guys enjoyed this series so far and let's get straight into the video. So, let's get started. One of Haewon's favorite recipes is vegan banana bread. I've been meaning to make this for years. Literally every tom, I think to myself, I need to make vegan banana bread and then I forget or I buy all the ingredients and then the bananas get too ripe. And as you can see, they're almost too ripe right now. So I'm gonna, I was like today, let's just do it. Um, Haewon sent me this recipe, but I don't have all the ingredients to that one, so I found another recipe. I will leave the recipe in the description box below, but you basically need spelt flour, which I couldn't find in the store, so I just got normal flour. Then you need sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, oil, vanilla extract, bananas, and almond milk or any other plant-based milk. Okay, by the way, yes, I'm wearing a robe. It's freezing. It's literally freezing and my heating doesn't work. Uh, but that's a whole nother story. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to start up by mashing up three bananas. The recipe calls for three to four bananas, but I don't want mine to taste too much like banana, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but... Basically, the only banana bread I've had that I really like is the Starbucks banana bread. I don't know, I just really like it. So, I hope that this turns out a little bit similar to that. Because I'm not a fan of a really, really strong banana flavor. Which is weird because it's like, why are you making banana bread then? But So I've got a fork and I'm just gonna mash it up. I'm gonna use this thing, I think it's easier because the bananas are still a bit hard, I guess. I don't want big chunks of banana in my thing, so I'm trying to mash it up as much as possible. So the recipe calls for a third cup of neutral oil. So I'm going to use sunflower oil. It also says you can use vegan butter or coconut oil or applesauce but I'm just gonna use sunflower oil. So this is a third of a cup. And then it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I have right here, but I'm just gonna measure it. I think that was more than a teaspoon. <laughs> and then we mix it again. And then we're adding the flour, the sugar, the baking soda, baking powder, and salt. So all the dry ingredients. Because it already adds baking powder to the recipe, I'm just gonna use the plain flour. But I think you could also just use self-rising flour and then leave out the baking powder. But I'm not sure. So the recipe calls for one and three fourth cups of flour. So this is half a cup. third cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half, and half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then just a pinch of salt. 
and then we mix it. So I'm gonna mix it first and then add the milk. So I'm gonna add a fourth cup of milk now. And the recipe also says to add more if needed, so let's see how this goes first. I think it's a little thick. The recipe says batter will be slightly thick and a few lumps is okay. If the mixture seems too thick, add milk. So I'm gonna add a little more milk. I'm just gonna add everything because this is almost finished. Okay, I think this is a pretty good consistency. By the way, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which calculates to 175 degrees Celsius. Ooh, I almost forgot. I wanted to add a little bit of cinnamon, which the recipe doesn't really mention it, but I think that it would be really nice. So I'm gonna add about that much. I'm going to grease this loaf pan with a little bit of oil. You can also grease it with butter. So then I take some kitchen paper and just rub it in. You can use your hands if you want. Make sure to take it over the edges as well because it might go up in the oven. So the recipe that Haywon sent me actually had chocolate chips in there. You can add some cocoa powder too, but I'm not a huge fan of chocolate and banana as a combination. And I really want it to be more like Starbucks. <laughs> so not a chocolate banana cake, but really a banana bread loaf. So hopefully it turns out that way. And hopefully this pan is not too small. So there we have it, and now it's gonna go into the oven for 50 minutes, but you wanna keep on checking on it, of course. And we're gonna use something like a toothpick. Actually, I don't even have a toothpick, so I'm gonna use something like a knife to check if it's uh, fully cooked. So it's been about 50 minutes, and as you can see, it has more than doubled in size. But I'm just grateful that it didn't like melt over the edges and drip down and everything. Um, it smells amazing. I'm about to open it and poke a knife in it and see if it's fully um, cooked through. This is so big. I don't see anything, but it feels very moist. Oh yeah, see, in the middle, still lots of dough. So I'm gonna, I think, I think I'm gonna put it down a little bit and just let it cook for longer because, but as you can see, this is literally dough. So it needs to cook a little longer, but it looks great from the outside. So I'm gonna put it a little lower so that it doesn't burn on the outside and I'm gonna let it cook from inside. Okay, it's been about almost 30 minutes since I tested it and it's on about 150 degrees Celsius right now. So it's not burnt yet still, so that's great. And I don't mind it if the outside is a little more crispy. Um, I just want the inside to be cooked. Following a recipe, like especially with the oven, ovens are very much different, I would say. One oven might take 30 minutes to bake a banana bread, whereas another one needs much longer. So make sure to just keep an eye on it. Like I'm doing, and as you can see, 
is more clean now. Okay, I don't see anything. It's still a bit moist inside, so I'm gonna leave it for about 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna take it out. I feel comfortable leaving it in right now because as you can see, the outside is still kind of soft and I don't mind if it's a little bit um, crunchier than the inside. But we're almost there. At least it's not raw anymore inside. I think it's been like an hour and a half or maybe even one hour 45 minutes in total. And I think it is done now. Yeah, these are crumbs. So I'm going to turn off the oven, but I'm gonna leave this in the oven to let it cool down. Um, and just bake a little longer while it's in there. I'm just so scared that it's still raw inside, but as you can see, shouldn't be raw, so. I'm gonna leave it in there and turn off the oven and just let it cool down for about 30 minutes to an hour. Um, I wanna let it cool down completely so that when I cut it open, it's like not hot because if you cut it open when it's hot, it just goes wrong. So I'm gonna let it cool down completely. Okay, it's been about an hour or two now. <laughs> I was just eating dinner and wow, it's still warm, but can we just, appreciate how good this looks i feel like it's also gone down a little bit but listen to this but it's still my it's not too hard this is exactly what i wanted um it still it still feels warm so i'm gonna let it cool down completely and then we're gonna cut it open and see how it tastes, but I'm very proud of how it looks already. And it smells very similar to the Starbucks one. So I'm very excited to try this out. It just smells a little stronger, like more banana. So yeah, we're gonna see how it tastes and I might next time use less banana, but we'll see. Oh my god, that is so satisfying. <laughs> that worked perfectly. Now it's time for the cut. Ready? Ooh, so crispy. <laughs> I'm so excited. This better come out good, oh my god. Hey, it is fully baked. Ooh, it's still, it's like, it's fully baked, but it's not dry, like it's moist. That's great. Ooh, this smells amazing, you guys. Look at that. I'm so proud of myself because I actually did not expect this to come out this good. So don't mind my chopping board, it's broken. But anyways, as you can see, the recipe called for 50 minutes in the oven, but I had to keep it in there for almost two hours. So you should just keep an eye on your oven when you make this recipe. Some ovens have like stronger power than others, so it kind of explains it. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye on it. Let's try it out now. I'm gonna try out the butt piece. I'm not really showing my face because I look crazy today, but let's try it. Oh wow, this is really nice. So this is the end result, it tastes amazing. If you don't like uh, like really sweet things, this recipe is perfect for you. If you like your banana bread a little more sweeter, add a little more sugar to it, or honey maybe. Um, but this recipe is really good. I was so scared that this was gonna mess up, but it came out so good. Like I said earlier, just keep an eye out um, on the oven. Sometimes it can be quicker, some, some ovens can be slower. Mine was slower, it took almost two hours to bake this, but the end result is definitely there. You can add chocolate chips, you can add uh, crushed nuts on top. You can add a lot of things to this. You can add coconut flakes, 
Uh, there's so many things that you can add to a banana bread and make your own kind of um, variants. Make sure to head over to Heiwan's TikTok where she's making my favorite vegan bake recipe. So make sure to check that out. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lillian's Egg Guy. And follow Heiwan as well. I'll leave her socials in the description box. And make sure to subscribe to both of our channels. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.